Now, why? I'm wondering even right now, is there anybody in the house who has had a personal relationship with God? <laughs> now, now, when I say that, I'm not talking about you were singing and dancing and you're running around the walls and all that. That's not, I'm not talking about that kind. I'm talking about when you had situations Amen. that you know that you needed help in. And, and, and you use your humanness, you use your intellectuality, you use your intelligence, you use your brilliance, and you use your friends, and, and you use your money, and you use all the things that you could conjure up, but you could not satisfy that what was needed to solve or resolve the issue that you had. But, 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 when you were about to give up hope, The God of the Bible stepped in and brought about a solution that you could not get in and of yourself on your own. That's what makes me believe if Moses doesn't say anything. Yes, yes. If there's no letter in the Bible concerning uh, the Apostle Paul, or if there's no Bible and I am living, I can truthfully say that the God that I serve is alive and doing well. And however you go back, because when you talk about bacteria evolving, fossils, etc., 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 and they all started in the water, my question is who made the water? <laughs> I, I look at us and I see the body of Christ as we gather together on midweek services and I see us as we gather together on Sundays and, and I, 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 I hear music and I, I hear messages and lectures on Sunday and, and in absentia is the word of God or God's name. I hear songs and all of the lyrics and they never include God and I hear messages that don't include God. It seems to me that if it's God's church and we're God's people, we ought to talk about God sometimes. If we don't talk about God, then the question is, why do we come to church? What is the purpose if we're yet battling with the thought of his existence? Somebody said that Adam named everything. The question is, who gave him the sense to name? Where did that come from? How can you name something that is not? And that you've never heard expressed before. I'm talking about God, you all. I'm talking about God. 